So Connie is kind enough to agree to actually show you an ingredient listing. We're going to take an actual product that I sell and she's going to take us through the ingredients and how to understand it. And just to give you an idea, this is a serum for skin and particularly focus on blemishes. So post like a breakout, post a pimple type of vibe. It's also really good for blackheads, by the way. So Connie, tell us and explain to us. Cool. So the one we're doing is going to be that product there, the Dermaceutic. Let me not get it blurred. And the ingredient listing, like I said, is always going to be on the pack. So let me now find it. So that's our ingredient listing, which is that little section there. So as you can see, they always make it small, but it is there. <laughs> so I just want to give you a few tips when you go shopping. So I mentioned in the previous video, it goes from most to least. So this one, aqua water is the most again. So you know that's the most. So one of the things it talks about on the front of the pack is one of the active ingredients, the azalic acid. So that's the second ingredient. So you know it's really loaded with that. But a lot of these words you may not be familiar with. So simple key things that you can look out for. You look further down the ingredient listing, and in this one, it's got something polysorbate 20. Polysorbate 20 is a solubilizer, which is used to help get little bits of oil into a lot of water. So polysorbate 20 is usually used below 1%. So now you know that's a little bit of like, oh, okay, hang on a second, that one's lower down. Another key point would be something like, in this case, xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a natural gum thickener that will give you a little bit of consistency in your product to make it like a gel, which is what this kind of is, a serum gel thing is. So the xanthan gum is also going to be very low. So when you look at that, there's citric acid after that, which just helps as well with pH regulation, which is important for the skin. But those kinds of products, simple words you can remember, polysorbate 20, all your gum thickeners, citric acid, they'll be quite low down. And then you know, okay, those are on the lower end of that. And you can look for your active names higher up. So I hope that helps. If there's a product you're curious about or an ingredient you're not familiar with that you, you're a little bit scared of what Google's going to throw at you, post it in the comments below. Put the name. Let us answer it for you so that you can get the right information without Google's scary stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that you'd agree with me. This has been most helpful. And um, yeah, thank you so much, Connie, for just clarifying this yeah. to us. Awesome, thank you. <laughs>